Well, hello, my space kittens. This is Colin. Uh, this is Mac. This is Brock. That was Colin. <laughs> we're, um, oh, we're here with full bellies and scribble traps doing another scribble chap seen from a hat. Um, I'm actually going to do it on camera this time. I know it's going to waste a buttload of my time. Uh, but it's okay. On camera. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, on mic. Okay, uh, alright. Does someone <laughs> want to pick for me? So, here. You can pick your own, but just here. Uh, and in the hat, and... His hand's in the hat, and what do you pull? Suspicious toaster up to no good. <laughs> Suspicious toaster up to no good. Alright. How, how do we draw that? Alright. <laughs> okay, so, what are, what are toaster shoes? Uh, uh, so how are you guys doing today? We should probably be on the pen, too. Uh, I am doing very well. Are you uh, asking them or us? I'm asking him. Well, we could ask them, but I don't know how much of a response we You're right. Everybody, uh, the drawing will not begin until you respond to, to one hour <laughs> question. <laughs> That's okay, we can wait all day. Take your time. The, the way this hat is shaped kind of makes the... You mean that Indiana Jones hat? Yeah, it makes the everything... Hat. There we go. I got it. The notes were kind of falling in the cracks. So I'll set that aside. So, we uh, just had a nice meal of super cheap pizzas and breadsticks. And a juicy box. What? Why the juice box? Juice box? Beer? A beer? A beer juice box? What? <laughs> what about <laughs> juice box? We had. Juice so, this episode is off to a fine start. <laughs> we're doing really good so far. Um. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's going on with him. So, Brock. Yeah, what's up? I heard that you recently bought a new microphone. I did recently buy a new microphone, and I'm actually super excited about it because you know what? This is this is to all you kitties out there, you space kittens. Yeah, no, no one heard me hear it say it because Mac burped in my face. <laughs> Dick. <clears throat> I regret nothing. When it comes to quality, you can spare no expense. Just don't buy something super expensive. Shh, you can't say that. I can't say that, and Change I did say said. it. No, but I bought a microphone for a decent price, and it's real good quality, I think. Um, it's by Blue, it's the Snowball mic. Uh, something where quality meets budget, because we are not, uh, contrary to popular belief, extraordinarily rich. I am. But he chose, he chose not to participate in the budget. this mic, so... Yeah. Um, we wound up with what we got, and we are very happy with it. Yep. We previously had a headset with a microphone built in. <laughs> yeah, that, that we were using. <laughs> and everything sounded um, good. Well, some things didn't sound at all. At all. <laughs> it, would, it's, it was really funny. And by funny, I mean frustrating and sad and made me cry. Because what would happen was it would pick up some of our voices as background noise, so it would just silence us completely. Go make this face for me. Sorry, I had to pose for Colin for a second. Um, visual <laughs> humor nice... at its best. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's terrifying! I say. This takes the Brave Little Toaster to a whole new level. Did you guys watch that as a kid? Absolutely. Brave Little Toaster? I remember when I was at my cousin's house in Texas, and... Uh, <laughs> Good story. They used to have a trampoline. <laughs> just, oh. Side note. No, they rented a copy of this movie for me to watch to shut me up, but I didn't watch Disney movies as a child. Right. Like, at all. I didn't see The Lion King until it was re-released in theaters, like, two years ago. You're crazy. Yeah. And it was, I think it was the Toaster movie, and, is that the one where all the objects talk? Yeah, yeah there's a lamp. Oh, I hated like it. It, it horrified oh, me. That blanket. See, that's what I was going to say, is I get, I got nightmares from that stuff. Something about animated objects... Like, never sat well with me. Maybe it was because, like, I had seen Slappy, for those of you who didn't grow up in the 90s. We had Goosebump books, but we also had a Goosebump TV show. Uh, and one of the most terrifying things to me as a kid was this doll, well, dummy, you know, a puppet. Talking about Chucky? Yeah, no, I'm talking about Slappy. I don't remember Slappy. Slappy was, well, he was Goosebumps, and uh, he was a dummy that would come to life. And it was terrifying, which is funny because when I watched Chucky, I would thought it was funny. Yeah. Like, it, like it didn't, it didn't hit me at all. But for some reason, that that really terrible Goosebumps TV show really 
Mm-hmm. That slap was terrifying. It's really unusual. I think Goosebumps, the show, was one of those things that I've kind of just like blocked out of my memory yeah. somehow. And something Goosebumps. I'm aware that I watched it, but I have no memory of watching it. Right. I, 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 well, I remember because it always came on um, back when uh, UPN 50 was a thing. Oh. Or the UPN channel. I guess it was UPN 50 here. Um, and it would come on. But the only reason I remember it is because every other what day... What UPN stand for? I have United no idea. Postal Network. <laughs> United Postal Network. Postman ran their yeah. own channel. Can you guys <laughs> they tell, really liked Goosebumps. Can you guys tell this is a, a cord that's connected to his hand? Can you tell what that is? Uh, a little, maybe when well, you no, draw you the, the actual plug, plug part. Shit. Like if you... His, the plug. his hand is the plug. Oh, I get it. Oh, now I get it. Kinda. I don't get it. <laughs> But yeah, yeah it would come on, the only reason I remember it is because it would come on UPN, and some days it would come on, and other days Power Rangers would come on. I love Power Rangers. Me too. Love me some Power Rangers. I could go uh, on. People do not know, but we are some of the largest Power Rangers slash Dragon Ball Z fans. In the, if you didn't realize already, I think we, we are geeks. <laughs> we, are, we are nerdy, nerdy geeks. A little bit. We uh, took this trip to Japan... This I is didn't. Dragon Ball Z related. So oh, yeah. Uh, going up Matt, Mac and I, Colin, unfortunately, did not. We went as a part of a, a trip. It was after our senior year with our Japanese class. Uh-huh. And in Japan, because I'm sure many of you have not gone, they do have yes. a lot of arcades and a lot of crane games. And their their versions of crane games, it's not just like in the U.S. where we have the, like, the one with the claw. Right. Or maybe that yeah. one where you like have to push the peg and knock the thing off. Whatever. In Japan, they have all, a, a variety. They're very elaborate, too. And we went to... I think I did it in two or three different arcades. Um, I'm not one for crane games, because in my... And many people's experience, you don't win anything. No, you don't. Unless you're my little brother, who has the devil's luck. Right. But in Japan, some of them are a little more skill-based. So, I wasn't playing them initially, but my friends were. They were trying to win Dragon Ball Z figures. There were some where you had to, like, pull a string or do a certain thing, and... You had to do a thing? Do a thing. <laughs> they put $10, $15 into these machines, and I'd come over and be like, hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, we're, uh, we're trying to win this Dragon Ball Z, this Goku figure. I, I, I like how I sound. And <laughs> hey, uh, we're doing this thing. That's exactly how you sound. So I'd be like, all right, I'll give it a shot. One dollar in, win it. And this happened oh, so at the first arcade. I won a like a ten inch Goku figure. Second arcade, I won probably a five inch uh, Frieza. And then again, I stole from them a five inch Trunks. I won, I think, four figures. They had put in probably a total of fifty dollars. I spent four and got four things. I have one of those. Don't, don't I have the Goku? Or do I, you have them all? I have a Goku. I don't know if you want a separate one. I don't know. No, I I don't know. Someone gave me something, and I don't remember what it was. But I do have like a little mini like a. Uh, Super Saiyan Goku. Oh, yeah, game. no, mine was like this tall. Oh, that's, on a that's not 5-inch, that's like a foot. 10-inch. The oh. other ones I got were... Oh, okay, okay. Uh, but it was, it was. I was so proud of myself, and they were so pissed at me, and it was amazing. Yes, it was, was, it was crazy. And I also, we went to one arcade, this pissed me off. They had a machine, it was a normal crane machine, and there were a bunch of boxes of the alien figures. Oh, I remember this, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were, again, about 10-inch figures, very elaborate. Their tail was twisting around, they were, like, fully painted in detail. They were amazing. And in the corner, in the very back corner, they were all in there as boxes. You pick up the boxes. In the corner on a stand was one that was out of the box yeah. for display. And I was thinking, oh, clever old me, I'll pick <laughs> up that one because it's it's an exposed figurine. There's a lot of places for a claw to grab it by. Right. This will be easy. So I get the claw, put in my dollar, well, dollar coin, hundred yen coin. Right, as I was going cruise that claw over to the back corner, drop it down, I'm watching it, it holds on, picks it up, and it's got a strong grab. I'm like, okay, this is in the hole. And it moved to the hole. And it dropped it, and the figure stuck in sideways. It was not coming out into that little slot. I was like, oh, damn it, and it's blocking the slot. I'll get one of the people that work here, just open it up, give me the figure. (laughs) So funny. No big deal. So this little old Japanese lady comes over grumbling with her keys, she puts it in this little door. Perfect Japanese thing, by the way. If anyone didn't notice, she, I couldn't understand. If, if, impeccable. She was mumbling. Whatever. <laughs> she opens this door, 
grabs the figurine, and puts it back in the corner. <laughs> she didn't give it to me. She what? picks it up, puts it back on the stand in the back corner, locks the case, and walks away. Doesn't even make eye contact with me. It's like, you know that you just screwed me over. Oh, yeah. Granted, she's, I was breaking the rules. Aware. But, oh, I was so good. Didn't, after that, I was like, yeah, I'm done with crane games. <laughs> back to the regular, no more crane games. <laughs> And that was Max Segment. Uh, <laughs> coming. That took up a good four Story minutes. Story time <laughs> with Mac. Story time with Mac. Now look at this creepy face that Colin's drawing. Seriously, man, what the crap nightmare is this? This is horrifying. This is terrifying. We just watched Adventure Time, and that face that they used to summon the portal to the Nidosphere. Yeah. And then... uh, Colin mentioned something about it, and I think it's affecting him subconsciously because that is definitely a not creepy at face. all the same face. Still as horrifying. Still just as horrifying. Oh, no. So, um, I noticed that that toast is very untoast-like. He doesn't... He's up to no good. He doesn't want you to get your toast right. He's like... Oh, my God. He's like, what are... Oh, you put toast in me, but I'm gonna make it not toasty. I'm gonna return it still, Brad. Oh, wait. Are you trying a mustache? <laughs> no, it's like his, his like... cheekbones? It's like sunken in zygomat. Like, okay, I want to make sure that those are his cheekbones, because that's freaking disgusting. Yep. Like, I am just, like, about to barf. Staring at this. this is terrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh, why? <laughs> I'm here for your nightmares. At least he doesn't have a dangle door. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We ain't doing that. No pieces on this drawing. <laughs> Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my word. I don't really know when to be done. I'm gonna see how this thing. Hold on, I'm not done yet. I got some time. But my hips don't lie because it's starting to feel. <laughs> Nail it. <laughs> I am the poet laureate of Shakira songs. It is too After good. Poop. <laughs> Thanks, man. After poop. All uh, right. Okay, Max can't go to the bathroom, so um, we'll just keep. Uh, there he goes. Doing pretty good. Lost the man. man what was that? Ten man minutes in. Down. That's man. great. Hey, cool. man. When, when you gotta go to the potty. You gotta go to the potty. When nature calls, as Ace Ventura said. Is that what he said to you? Person. He looks at the tail of his leg. <laughs> He's attractive. He's all like, I'm gonna take you down to cut town. To cut? To cut town? Yeah. You know what he does remind me of, though? Huh? <sighs> My nightmares. <laughs> like, Why does he keep reminding you of your nightmares? He's maybe terrifying. Maybe we should have some more terrifying nightmares. He's so goofy. I love it. This what do you mean goofy? I think he's adorable. This is goofy. That's like saying that stalkers are goofy. It's like, no. He's, he is so goofy. He needs more cuts on his face. Maybe like some, some eyelashes. <laughs> you know, sometimes... <laughs> Daddy didn't love me! <laughs> I don't know. I... God dang it. I don't know, man. I, I really think he, uh... He's really... <laughs> Does he even know? I feel like... No. He, what he needs is to be killed. <laughs> And burned and like crushed. There you go. Oh my gosh! I don't even know. I I I feel bad for like our audience because I'm sitting here trying to like. Usually we don't like to talk about like just focus on the sketch because why talk what you guys can see, you know? But or why talk about what you guys can see? And I'm finding myself struggling to say anything because I'm just so distracted <laughs> by this Michael like... Jackson looking. <laughs> I never really talk Toaster. about my sketches because I really have to focus on how... Well, like, I mean, that, that's something they're that probably used to by now. Obviously, this is like our, like, what, fifth, fourth episode? Fourth, fourth probably? Counting, counting, counting Count with Brock. Counting well, with Brock. I, anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> behind the scenes stuff aside, um, they should probably be used to the fact that when someone is sketching, we're not going to be able to talk yeah. as much as when we're not sketching. No, I mean, I'm not super... Chatty when I draw. Brandon, but oh gosh, you got like a little. Uh, oh, oh, this is like this is what Michael Jackson has nightmare though. This is terrifying. You feel better, Mac? Oh my god, yeah. Is, uh, this. Was oh, it like a shotgun? No, this sort of yeah, boom, just right out of there. Yeah, that shotgun no, boom. It was a double barrel. <laughs> double oh, barrel. It was a, a boom. Chick, chick, bam. And then a, a, a second oh, boom right behind that one. Oh my oh god. Boy. Well, guys. Oh, what the happened to this toaster? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <gosh. laughs> oh my uh, god. I know. Right? Like, that's, you, 
That's that's pretty good. I you like freaking, it again? I don't know. That's that. horrible. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? <laughs> it was I really this suspicious toaster. Can we color zoom out it and make bit. a sticker out of it? Absolutely. Zoom out a little bit, would you? Absolutely. We could definitely. Oh my do. gosh. All right. Well, folks, that was that's this episode of Scribble Chaps. <laughs> Hope you we enjoyed ap- it. We apologize for that terrible nightmare we're leaving you all with. <laughs> Y'all welcome. Uh, just remember that if you start seeing him in your dreams, grab an exorcist, and uh, he will help you out. Or you can call me. Absolutely. Feel free to like the video, comment on the video. Oh, yes, definitely. Give us suggestions. We love your suggestions. We love hearing you guys and your opinions, except for those of you who opinions we don't care and about. And if you have Twitter, if you think your suggestions are going to get lost in the comments, Twitter is a viable option. Tweet, tweety Bird at us. And you know, yeah, we had Scribble Chat. That's Scribble Chat. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Have a great night. <laughs> Oh my God.